Hi guys, here's another episode of Kicking It With Quran. Today we've got Clive, we're going to be talking about VMware. Hey Clive, how you doing man? Good to see you man. Haven't seen you in so long. I know, um, it's been a while. I know, we sit across the room. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? Uh, you're, you're fairly new to OCI, so tell us a little bit about your history. Yeah, sure. So Clive D'Souza, I'm the head of product for VMware and, and Azure. Uh, been in the technology industry for a little over 20 years, so primarily in the cloud space. So glad to be here. A AWS previously? AWS, prior to that, yeah. did a couple of startups, did a stint at some technology companies. Uh -huh. so. Cool, cool. And so, so head of products for VMware, what does that mean? So it's, it's, it's a unique role, right? I mean, we have the traditional product managers where they actually sit with engineering and actually design features or make recommendations on what needs to get designed. Yep. But there's always been the dilemma in the cloud space, especially the way the market is moving, what do we really need to design, right? So my role and my team's role, essentially we straddle the actual interaction with the customer and then feeding that information back to product teams, internal uh, to engineering teams to design and influence the roadmap, right? Got it. So we focus on setting the strategy for what the enterprise customers want, and then we help the engineering team distill it down to what requirements they need to have in the stack. Right, so, so VMware is a big deal, right? Yeah. Like, um, I would have never thought that we would have done something with VMware, let alone Microsoft. Okay, so we got a very important relationship with VMware. We just recently signed a very big deal, very important announcement. Available this quarter. So it's pretty interesting that we're doing things with VMware. What are we doing with VMware, like specifically? So, you know, before we go down into the actual what we are doing with VMware, so taking a step back, if you look at the enterprise IT landscape today, it's, it's a combination of virtualization and a bunch of office productivity apps. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it doesn't take a genius to figure out who the leading um, in, incumbents are in both spaces, right? If it's virtualization, 85 to 90%, it is VMware. So that's an install base for us. And the same thing goes for uh, anything related to Office or Power BI, it's Microsoft. So when we talk to large customers and they want to do a lift and shift and migration to the cloud, it's oftentimes a like to a like. They want to go from an on-prem environment, they want to replicate the same look and feel without significant disruption in their day-to-day -day operating model. So when we had these conversations back to the persona you asked earlier, right, talking as a product manager to the, the CTOs of the cloud, the chief cloud officers, it was always like, yes, I want to go to the cloud, but help me replicate the virtualization stack I have and take it to the cloud with you. And that's the genesis right. of the VMware and, and project. And most customers on-prem today run VMware as their virtualization stack. Exactly, right? right. So, uh, so, so main question where you ask me what we're doing, if you look at the way VMware as an offering in the cloud is offered, we are not the first, we totally get that. But we are the first in the enterprise grade. Unlike the other cloud service providers, ours are not hosted, they're not managed. If you look at our competition, they actually offer VMware literally as a co-location, right? It's not integrated into the stack, people still manage it for you. So they have access to your root credentials, they have access to the intermediate data. Where in the case of OCI, or the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or VMware solution, we actually integrate VMware stack into our cloud stack. So as an example, somebody logs in to the OCI portal, yeah. they can select VMware as one of the offerings. Right, and then from there, they can jump onto the core OCI services, through services gateway or- But it's self-managed. It's self-managed, right. right? And they have control, they have the full access to the root credentials. We don't. Right. Uh, we actually come from a zero trust. So we do not want you to trust us. We do not have access to the data. They control the patching mechanisms. They control the patching schedules. We don't. Mm -hmm. So, and, and the beauty of that is the way we have integrated the entire VMware is and if you look at the actual um, uh, uh, vCenter, which is essentially the entire dashboard to control all the VMs, if you compare the on-prem to that of a cloud, it's identical. It literally is, you could not tell unless, oh, you're on the cloud. And what that means to an enterprise CIO means that he can take the same v, uh, VMware expertise without any significant upskilling and run his operations in the cloud literally in a heartbeat. Mm. And that's how easy it is. So we make the easy button or the on-ramp to the cloud very easy. Right. And no other cloud provider or vendor of choice has done that. So think about it differently, right? Um, every new kid on the block wants to run SaaS. Right. right. And everybody is like, SaaS this, SaaS that, where our future is SaaS. Everything is managed. Everything is transparent to the customer. Things are obfuscated. So isn't that... Like, isn't that the future? Like, don't people want to do that? Or is that not how people want to deploy VMware? 
It is the future, but the thing which I always point out based on where the industry is, it is not a binary flip. It's a step function, right? right? So you need to take first migrate to the cloud, right? This is lift and shift, like for like, and then over a period of time, in a systematic manner, right, you rationalize it, you, you refactor what you can, you retire what you want to do, and you replatform. Right. Now, in the, in the scheme of VMware, the way we are positioned it is, you're right, you have a VMware instantiation, you move from an on-prem to the cloud. Mm -hmm. You can still, today, deploy SaaS applications because you come to the VM, if you go to the OCI panel, you can go and select an offering from the OCI marketplace through the service gateways, you still have it inside your entire cloud offering. Whether you launch it on a VM where instantiation or outside of it, that control is with you. Right. So you can still do it. And is VMware going to be offered through that marketplace mechanism, or is it more like a you know, first class citizen, I go in, I click it, and it just, boom, like deploys a VMware deployment for me, I manage it myself, I run it myself? It, it's a combination of both, but right. right now we are trending down as a first class citizen, it becomes part of a stack. I so see. as part of the VMware partnership agreement we signed, we become a VMware preferred partner. Right. Right. So we can. Is reseller the right word? Exactly. Right. So we can resell VMware and they can essentially resell our products too. Right. At the same time, we have an integrated support. What that basically means is in the event there is a bug in the software stack and it originates because of a VMware instantiation and deployment on the OCI stack, Oracle is the first line of support, regardless of where the bug is. Got it. And even though let's say as we debug it with the teams and we find that the issue is in a VMware stack, we have mechanisms built in for a mm. hot ticket handoff. Got it. So, and we'll never throw it over the wall and tell the customers it's VMware's it challenges or vice versa. We'll always be that first line of defense. And flipping the equation, if they go to VMware- and Likely that way as and well. And it's the same thing. So right. we have that partnership established right now. Got it. Cool, okay, so what's next steps? How can people try this stuff? Where do we go from here? You know, we are literally a few months away from deployment. We have the OCI free tier. I think every enterprise customer, every CISO, every cloud center of excellence should take advantage of that and go and deploy the first nodes of VMware and then try it for themselves. And That's available today? It's not there today, but we can, through function validation, enable it for us. So somebody should email you? Absolutely. Got it, okay, well, we'll make sure your personal phone number is there in the go. description. <laughs> uh, we'll overlay it on the video, you know, and everything. So, yeah. but no, thank you so much for coming down, uh, you know, explaining a little bit about what VMware means on OCI. Um, I think it's gonna be huge for our customers. Yep, we're looking forward to that. Uh, and uh, join us next time for another episode of Kicking It With Quran.